Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about a safe shutdown button for your Raspberry Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now in this video, we'll be covering both the hardware installation of the button and the software that we're going to need to install to get everything working correctly. But first, let's talk about why you would want this shutdown button to begin with. Well, if you're like me, you run your Raspberry Pi headless. As such, in order for me to uh, shut the Raspberry Pi down, I have to remote into it using my VNC server, and then I can click on the Raspberry Pi uh, logo in the top left corner, click shut down, and uh, then go ahead and safely shut the Raspberry Pi down. But this requires me to log into it each and every time I want to shut the Pi down. Well, when I'm getting ready to say go out into the field and do a POTA, I want to just be able to grab a Raspberry Pi off the shelf and go ahead and get that into the backpack. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to actually want to log into it and shut it down the proper way. Now, you could, I suppose, just pull the power cord for the Raspberry Pi and go ahead and uh, put it in your backpack. The trouble with that is you run a risk of corrupting your SD card. So I definitely don't recommend you just disconnect power from your Pi. Although I have to admit, uh, in certain times of frustration, I have been guilty of doing that myself. But what I wanted to do was be able to just reach up, push a button on the Pi, have it shut down in a safe manner without me having to log into it, and then go ahead and pull it and throw it in my bag. Quick and easy. I'm just basically cutting out that one uh, necessary step of logging into the Raspberry Pi. So when I started on this uh, project, I went over to Amazon and I found this package of buttons. Now I happen to have wire laying around in the shack from some other projects. If you don't have that, uh, you can also get the wiring you need off of Amazon as well. And guys, I'll leave links to all of this down in the description below. After I had all of the necessary components in my hands, I went ahead and started modifying the case that I use. So I simply drilled out uh, a hole large enough for the button to fit through and went ahead and inserted that into the top of the case. Once I got it uh, inserted there, then I went ahead and soldered one wire on each of the terminals underneath and then connected that up to the GPIO pins. Once that was done, we simply snapped the case back, or the top of the case back onto the base of the case, and we're ready to go. So now let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi, and I'll show you how quick and easy this is to get this script installed. Okay, so once you're on your Raspberry Pi, go ahead and open up your web browser, and we're going to navigate to github.com forward slash km4ack. Once that page loads up, you want to come right here and click on the PyScripts repository. Inside the PyScripts repository, we're just going to scroll down. The script is almost at the very bottom of the list here, but it's called Safe Shutdown V1.zip. Now, that just means version 1. That way, if I change it somewhere in the future, you'll be able to know that there was a change made to the script. Let's just go ahead and click on that, and when the next screen comes up, we'll just go ahead and click the download button right here. Give that just a couple of seconds to download. At this point, we can go ahead and close out of the browser, and we'll open up our file explorer. Go ahead and navigate over to the downloads directory, and you should see that safe shutdown script, uh, the zip file for it. So we're just going to right-click on that and say extract here. And that'll give you a new folder right here in the downloads directory. Let's go ahead and open up this safe shutdown directory. Now, you'll see four files here 
you know, initially, and <clears throat> we're going to kind of walk through what each of these is doing. The install script is what we're going to run in a minute to actually install everything. Uh, but you see another one here called the KM4 ACK Shutdown. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that and say open in a text editor. And this is a simple Python script that is going to monitor the GPIO pins. And once it detects that the button has been pressed, it's going to simply run sudo shutdown dash h now. And that's it. The Pi will then be shut down. So let's close out of that particular file. And let's look at this uh, shutdown.service file here. So what we're doing here is we're running this uh, script as a systemd service. That way it is automatically started in the background every time you boot the Raspberry Pi. And if something happens in the script word to crash, it will always be restarted after a two second delay. So that's the only two files that we really need to make all of this happen. Let's go ahead and right click and close that one. And then in addition to that, you'll see a pinout.png file. Now this will also open by default when we click the uh, install here in just a minute. But I did want to go ahead and show it to you here. This shows you the two pins that it uses by default here uh, that we need to connect the button to. So if you don't make any modifications to the script, you'll connect your wires to these two pins on your Raspberry Pi board. So it's BCM23 and a ground. And it doesn't matter uh, which way you have those wires turned. You don't have to worry about those being reversed. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to install this. Now, you could double click on this and say execute in terminal. I'm going to go about it just a little bit of a different way, only because if you do it this way, you don't get to see any output on the screen should we run into any errors. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the terminal window here and let's navigate to the downloads directory. And if we run an ls command that shows you the two uh, things that are in there now. So let's go ahead and move to the safe hyphen shutdown directory. So that's cd space safe hyphen shutdown. We'll run the ls command one more time and that shows us that we've got that install script here ready for us. So let's run dot forward slash install. Now, it will tell you here, there is a warning that says uh, if you wire up your Raspberry Pi incorrectly, you can permanently damage the Raspberry Pi. You assume all responsibility uh, by doing this project. Go ahead and press any key to continue and accept. And you'll see just a couple of little things here. It does tell you that the script has been installed and enabled, and it reminds you which uh, GPIO pins we're going to connect to. And then it tells you that the reference image should open up, which it did over here on the left-hand side. And it also gives you some information if you want to disable this from running at boot, then you will run this command here. System, uh, or it's sudo systemctl disable km4-shutdown.service. If you run that command, then the, uh, then the script, the shutdown script, will not be started and your button will not work. If uh, you have disabled it and you want to re-enable it uh, at some point in the future beyond that, then you would run sudo systemctl enable km4-shutdown.service reboot the Pi, and you would be ready to go. Uh, your button would work because the script would be running in the background. So there you have it, guys. There's how you can install a shutdown button on your Raspberry Pi and make it quick and easy to safely power everything down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found this information helpful, and we will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.